Time we begin with new detail, new details that is just into our newsroom on yesterday's deadly shooting in Newport, where a woman barged into an office and started yelling threats. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly just got the latest developments from Newport Police. He joins us now live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. Yes, Danielle, we're learning new information this noontime about the shooting death yesterday of a Tiverton woman here in Newport. The Newport police got the call just before 10.30 yesterday morning. On arrival at Franklin and Company on Memorial Boulevard near the International Tennis Hall of Fame, an employee told the police a woman with a gun was inside threatening to shoot people. As they entered the building, police officers heard a gunshot. They found a woman lying face down in an office area bleeding from the head. One of the people fleeing from the building was also bleeding from the head and torso area, 28-year-old Frances Padavina of Newport. She told the police that the woman with the gun also had a large knife and that she confronted Frances Padavina with both the gun and the knife, saying, quote, how do you want to die? Pick one. Frances Padavina told investigators the woman stabbed her twice in the head and chest. She said she knows the woman is Jen and that she's the wife of a friend of hers. The police say Jen is 32-year-old Jennifer Allen of Tiverton and that she was the woman they found lying face down, bleeding from the head, a victim of a self-inflicted gunshot wound, a suicide. Investigators are still looking into why Jennifer Allen may have targeted Frances Patavina, but already the police are telling Eyewitness News it was personal. Do investigators believe that Jen Allen intended to kill this woman and then for whatever reason along the way chickened out? and killed herself instead? Um, it appears that she did go to this, um, obviously with a gun and a knife. So obviously she had some type of intent to do some type of harm uh, to the victim. The police tell us the stab wounds Frances Patavina suffered are superficial and that she was treated for them at a hospital and then released. Live in Newport with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.